Hey kids, it's Papa. Are you ready to explore the Bible? All right, take your Bibles and turn back to Genesis chapter 27. We're going to finish this story today, hopefully, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Now remember, on uh, Wednesday, we learned that the end never justifies the means. On Friday, we learned that you should never lie. It doesn't make any difference. A lie will never help. It always makes things worse. So here we have um, Jacob, and he's he's done everything he can to steal this blessing from his brother. And uh, finally, you know, Isaac has eaten the food and he says, oh, that's good. And, and finally, in verse 26 of Genesis chapter 27, verse 26, and his father Isaac said unto him, come near now and kiss me, my son. And he came near and he kissed him and he smelt the smell of his raiment and he blessed him and he said, see the smell of my son as the smell of the field which the Lord hath blessed. And so he thought, well, it sounds like Jacob, but he feels and he smells and he cooks just like Esau. So I'm going to believe that it's Esau. He made a choice. Now, the, end, the blessing was an interesting blessing. I want you to see what he says in verse 28. Therefore, God, give thee, and this was his blessing. Therefore, God, give thee the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and the plenty of corn and wine. In other words, may all of your crops bring forth abundantly and you might you get rich. Verse 28, therefore, God, give thee, uh, it's verse 29, let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's son bow down, sons bow down to thee. Cursed be every one that curseth thee, and blessed be he that blesseth thee. So he was giving him the blanket blessing of everybody will serve you, including your brother, who's your older brother, who you should be serving. But in any case, uh, notice that when he got done blessing him, suddenly Jacob heard Esau out in the next uh, tent and he thought, ooh, I better get out of here. And he said, oh, thanks, Dad. And I uh, thought, thanks, Dad. And, and he ran. Anyway, and the Bible says in verse 30, and it came to pass that as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, that Jacob was yet scarce gone out from the presence of Isaac, his father, that Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. And he said uh, he had made savory meats and brought it unto his father. And he said, Father, let my father arise and eat his son's venison, that I, my soul may bless me. And Isaac, his father, said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn, Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who, where is he that hath taken venison and brought it to me? And I have eaten it all, all before thou camest, and I have blessed him. Yea, and he shall be blessed. And Esau heard the words of his father, and he cried with a loud and exceeding bitter, bitter cry. And he said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. He's saying, Okay, Jacob stole it from me, but don't you have a blessing from me? For me? And uh, his father said, Thy brother came with subtlety and hath taken away thy blessing. Esau is furious. <laughs> Uh, but haven't you reserved a blessing for me? Verse 37, And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given unto him for servants, and with corn and with wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now for thee, my son? Well, Jake, uh, Esau, excuse me, Isaac went ahead and blessed Esau, but it wasn't a very good blessing because there wasn't that much to bless him with. But anyway, now Esau is mad. Oh, he is ticked. And now he had agreed to having his birthright taken away, but this he hadn't agreed to, and he was furious. And uh, he goes and he says, as soon as my father is dead and we are done mourning him, I am going to kill my brother. See, that way he could take the birthright he could take the blessing. He could take what he wanted. I'm going to kill him. Well, Rebecca heard this. She said, oh, no, what have I done? She called for her son, Jacob, and said, Jacob, you got to get out of town. 
You got to go where it's safe. Now, go back to where I came from, Ur of the Chaldees. It was a long journey. Go there. And if you go there, you'll be safe. And don't come back until your brother isn't angry anymore. <coughs> so, do you see what happened here? Because of the subtlety, because of the deceit, because of the lying, Jacob now had to leave his family, leave his mother, leave everything that he had known and run for his life. And he wasn't going to come back for many, many years because he was afraid of his brother. Now listen, always treat your brothers right. Always treat your sister right. Why? Because they're the ones God's given you. And Jacob was going to have to run from his brother. Now listen, God's given us family so that we will treat each other right, so that we will love each other. And even when they don't treat us right, we should still treat them right because they're our family. And sometimes our family disappoints us. Sometimes our family lets us down. Sometimes our family even hurts us. But they're our family. And so we need to get over being angry real quickly and we need to forgive them. And we need to go on. You say, but what if they keep doing it? You know what? They're going to keep doing it, but that's okay. We still need to love them. We still need to forgive them. Okay, why? Because they're family. Yeah, okay. Anyway, love you guys. You're my family. I'm your family. Let's love each other, okay? Love you guys. See you. Bye-bye.